And so you actually slept in that thing? That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in LA. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and pizza? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. Wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told May Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me, for some reason. So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? My mother is the harbinger of a dark god. A normal life was never in the cards for me. Yeesh. I thought high school was hard to deal with. That's gotta be a heavy load to carry. It is not always easy. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Caretaker has always handled the strategy. I prefer a more hands-on approach. 
Hey, whatever works for you. But if I'm honest, Hunter, I saw the way the others looked at you during the fight. Maybe you're more of a leader than you think. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. Might still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. It makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. That is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discounts sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. Wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well... I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. Must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? From what Caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The mother of demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy. Now, I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Guess that's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote, too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, oozing, brain-eating surface. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Man, I think they got the hell right on one of those traffic cams. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Hi. We need some post-action cheeseburgers. I'll get happy on it. Good girl, Charlie. Been meaning to ask, when you woke up and saw a half-vampire in the Abbey, well, was your first thought about killing me? You had not proven yourself an enemy, so I did not treat you as such. As long as you think fast, there's a fine line between choosing your target and hesitating. If I ever... If I become a threat to the rest of you, or to the people out in the world, what I'm asking is, if I lost control, would you stop me? Could you do what needs doing? 
Do you want me to promise I will? If I began to treat people like food, if I killed the innocent for the sport of it, damn right I want to promise. I am the hunter. I have slain hundreds of wicked creatures and rescued dozens from such a fate. So? So, I am the best judge of when you are too far gone to save. Guess I can respect that. Why bring this up? I don't know how Lilith does her thing, but I refuse to become one of her fallen. If there's ever a question, I want you to know my answer. I understand. All right then. Not usually my thing, but it could be. You are welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So you will be there in spirit. Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit. This is a little... cryptic. It's a clue. Don't worry if you can't solve her riddles all at once. I'll translate new clues every night. But the Abbey grounds are huge. How will I know where to look? You used to love running around these grounds as a child. If you need a refresher, study your map.
Hey, Hunter. I had some questions about the party. Sure, what's up? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? I already told you, surprise parties are a lot of fun. What more do you need than that on your birthday? That is all I had. I am good for now. See ya! Now this place feels like a superhero lair. Man, I wish we had something like this in New York. I heard this whole castle actually belongs to Caretaker. Guess I should make sure it's okay with her before I get too comfortable. Calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. Uh, and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider in a year two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter, Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? We stand in defiance against a billion-year-old prophecy set in motion by the most twisted and powerful of the Elder Gods. I should hope that counts for something. Yeah, definitely been through a lot together. I mean, I still can't get over the way she lit up when she absorbed that crazy-ass Faustus bomb. Like the sun. Ah, so this is about Carol. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? I have no doubt Carol also appreciates what you bring to the team. I hope so. I try to do my best for my allies. Well, I am sure she is also impressed with your efforts, and has noticed you as much as you have clearly noticed her. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. I still think you were bluffing about that flush. <laughs> Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course. Let's go. Nico needs help prepping for Magic Surprise Party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for Magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. What's up, Hunter? 
Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. this. We'll get started right... Got more coil for me? These should definitely give you an edge. Ready when you are, Hunter. Until next time. Find the new roommates. Nice to meet some cool new peeps, like Peter here. You know, the Avengers might do things a little differently, but they always have good intentions. I'm sure everything's fine. It's, uh, it is fine, right? You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. Ugh, the gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish. As are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. 
You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. <laughs> Thanks. I think? N not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. <sighs> None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun, Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. Just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. Is this what Steven goes through? I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future, sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the Chosen One there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a tortured vision book club or something. I am always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. A moment, Hunter. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? Something terrible happened this morning. Someone poured themselves the last cup of coffee and failed to brew a new pot. A bloodletting almost ensued. Oh, I laugh, but these petty conflicts are a sign of a team on edge. And who can blame them under these circumstances? In truth, anything that will amp them up like caffeine is probably the last thing they need right now. I should probably take the coffee maker and throw it out. But I fear that might result in a full-out rebellion. Ah, thank you for being my eyes and ears out there. We'll speak later.
Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. It is as good as done. Get to the truck and grab those artifacts before they roll out. Consider it done. You had your chance to... Hail that. Nothing personal, but I think you're out of your league here. Like it's up to me. Requesting medevac. This would be a lot easier if you guys just give up now. Ready up. Team, third string. I doesn't control the situation. Oh, that's not good. Enforcements on approach! We stand with the mother! Still not- That truck is about to move out. You're running out of time. Stronger already. Just slow them down, but it won't stop them. Get to the artifact before they figure out what happened. I'm afraid you might not make it back from this one. Let us see if they have an answer for this.
Our chances. That was something. So that's how that works. It's about time. They just don't know when to quit. Lilith must be desperate if these are her best. The artifacts are secure. But why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? Weak, even for Hydra. What's this? Wonder what the desertion rate is for Hydra lackeys. We've done it. Excellent work.
Yo, got a sec? What's happening, Hunter? Hey, Hunter. Parker and I cooked something up, and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. I could be free. Right on. Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Tell you what, if you come with me, just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right, where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it. Told you. You want to give the rundown or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home away from home. You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty! For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hellride, and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. There must be a reason you do this here instead of the Forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering. Where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. The shop is where you work things out for yourself. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! <laughs> it is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? You know? Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit. But we could have it ready pretty quick. If I had a web shooter, you could spend more time in the shop. Maybe. But you'd probably glue yourself to the floor. And what would that do to the great and mighty Hunter's reputation? Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but... If there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right.
Huh. So, how'd it turn out? Better than expected. Sick. So, that's the shop. What do you think? You and Parker have outdone yourselves. Then think of what the three of us can do. I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again. Shop class? Right. That's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Parker, you sticking around? You're... Robbie can show you out. Let him know when you're ready to go. Faustus is cursing our names right about now. Thank you. 